Hi folks, here at Canaveral National Seashore, we often get asked the question if we have camping. And we do, but it's a little bit different. So get ready for an adventure. Canaveral National Seashore has primitive island camping, also known as backcountry island camping in Mosquito Lagoon. However, we do not have accommodations for RVs or vehicle camping of any kind. Being island campsites, it's understood that our campsites are only accessible by water. We offer 14 different campsites that provide a variety of access and capacity options for those visitors who have their own boat, canoe, or kayak. If you don't have your own vessel, the Visitor Center does offer the option of canoe rentals for camping reservations on island campsites number one through five. To have the most enjoyable experience possible, we'll share three important parts in this video. Inform yourself, prepare yourself, and be safe. Inform yourself. What do you need to know? Well, first you need to know if this is for you. Primitive island camping is exactly that, primitive. There are no facilities on the island, no bathrooms, no running water, no electric, no buildings. What is on the island is a picnic table and a fire ring. On the island, there are also animals. You might expect to see birds, raccoons, reptiles, amphibians, and insects. Mosquitoes can be pretty fierce in the summertime. You'll be expected to make it out to your island all on your own. We do not offer any transportation services, but this is part of the fun and the adventure. Leave no trace principles are to be practiced while camping here. So whatever you bring out to the island, please bring back with you when you leave. Cell phone service is usually available on the island, and in the event of an emergency, please call 911. Reservations are required and can be made through recreation.gov. There's a whole lot of good information there, so make sure you read all of it. You may reserve campsites for $20 per night and up to six months in advance. The islands have both a name and a number, and they vary in capacity, so you'll want to consider the size of your group before choosing your island. For example, Orange Island, campsite number one, can accommodate a group of six people, while Brickhouse Cove, campsite number seven, can accommodate a large group of 60. Information on each island's capacity can be found on recreation.gov. Check-in time is 11 a.m. Check-out time is also 11 a.m. There are two ways to get out to your island and each has its own procedures. The first is if you have your own boat. If that's the case, decide on what island you'd like and where you'd like to launch your boat. There are a number of launch ramps in the area. Then make your reservation. There's no need to check in with the visitor center on the day of your camp out. Just print out your permit and your parking passes. Leave a parking pass on the dash of each vehicle in your group and make sure you abide by any of the posted regulations at the boat ramp. Then proceed out to your island and have a great time. The second is if you have to rent a canoe. They are available weather permitting for islands number one through five. So decide what island you'd like Make your reservation and notify the visitor center so they can reserve the canoes for you. On the day of your reservation, you must arrive before 4 p.m. You'll come to the Apollo Beach entrance station first. Standard park entry fees will apply. Mention that you are a camper and show them your printed permit and parking passes, then pay your entrance fee and canoe charges there. Canoes are available for rent for $25 per canoe per night. Each canoe can accommodate two adults and gear, and you must be 18 years of age or older to rent a canoe. Biodegradable toilet paper can also be purchased there. Then come on down to the visitor center with your receipt. If you need any additional information, we'll be happy to help you. Simply call the visitor center at 386-428-3384, extension zero. Prepare yourself. Give some thought to the items you'll need. Keep it simple, but make sure you have the necessities. All campers should bring their own tents, sleeping bags, food and water, insect repellent, your printed reservation and parking permits, a fully charged cell phone, sun protection, and firewood. As the day approaches, please check the weather and do not attempt to camp if severe weather is imminent. Be safe. If you're traveling to the island on your own boat, make sure you have Coast Guard approved life jackets for everyone on board and are in compliance with their other regulations. It's always a good idea also to make a float plan. That means let someone who is not on your adventure with you know of your itinerary, where you're going and when to expect you back. Give yourself plenty of time and daylight to get to your island. 
Don't travel on the water in the dark. It'll be safe and enjoyable if you set up your campsite early, then you'll have time to relax. You won't want to miss the beautiful sunset. If you're renting a canoe, again, please arrive at the Apollo Beach Visitor Center before 4 p.m., bring your receipt, where you'll be issued your canoes, life jackets, and paddles. For your safety, the Visitor Center may refuse canoe rentals at their discretion for foul weather or late arrivals. And don't forget to pick up a map to your island. The map will show your island's GPS coordinates. If you ever wanted to truly get away from it all, here's your chance. Lifelong memories can be made while camping on the islands. Time just seems to slow down. So stargaze at night, watch a rocket launch, see manatees and dolphins swim by, or fish at dawn. Whatever you choose, just be well informed, well prepared, and safe. Then you'll have a wonderful time camping at Canaveral National Seashore.